guys. I hope you're having a great day. I just ate. <laughs> I ate. And it's really hard to eat sometimes. If you always debate, like I always say, making videos like this because you don't want to bring people down and it stinks to be crying like this and you don't really want the world to see but at the same time you want the world to see because it's not fair to have to go through this from eating and it just it really stinks this is what life is like without my medication and it really does stink to be so dependent on something because somebody can rip it from you We've already reached the point that I'm already declining pretty quickly and it's a really bad time in my opinion to be going into a full force lovely flare because of the coronavirus because when you look at it from my perspective, which is quite different I will admit than the average individual's perspective, for me I'm thinking okay if I go into a flare I'm going to land myself in the hospital. My mom's already thinking of going to the hospital. And then I'm thinking of how many other things I can be exposed to. Which, that stinks. Because even with people wearing masks and doing other stuff, it's not always enough. And the blue masks that are the popular ones, for whatever reason, are not the ones that they should be wearing. Because... I have formed this opinion from my nurse telling me that they're not really protecting people and they're actually just spreading it by wearing them because it's able to get through the top, the sides, and the bottom. Now, you can still get air through, and I don't have it with me, my pink mask. Um, I'll have to grab it and just show it later. But there's a filter, and it is tighter on the sides, and the top and bottom are much, much tighter. <laughs> but not only, like, I understand air can still get through, but it's the filter that is the nifty little thing that does do a little bit of some something to help, you know, protect you. So I just, I really want to stay out of the hospital, and I was already told if I think I have coronavirus, that... I was told to go to the hospital, which from everything that I've been hearing from the CDC, they're trying to keep those people out of the hospital because then you're infecting the whole hospital. So there's just a lot of confusion and frustration. So I guess that's all I have to say for now, and I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully not crying, but I do want to point out I know. I'm sorry. I do this a lot. If you watch my videos, you know I do this a lot. That I, like, start saying goodbye, and then I have another thought. And I usually forget that thought. <laughs> so. Hey, guys. So, it is now um, Sunday. I did not get a chance to finish the vlog the other day because I ended up doing stuff for a different video for you all. Which is going up tomorrow, and this video is going up after that, so... I don't know what today's date is, otherwise I would tell you. I guess I'll pop it up on the screen for y'all. I just figured I was going to do a little bit of vlogging about my gastroparesis again. Because it's giving me problems, and so is my colitis. So, I am ready, getting ready to have breakfast. Yes, this is breakfast now. Oops, it's upside down. That's breakfast now, these days, guys. Afraid snacks. Fruit snacks have actually kept me alive before, so um, I'm on the floor because I was hoping my cats were going to come over, <laughs> um, but fruit snacks have kept me alive and kind of sustained me when I was not able to get down real food, and I know fruit snacks not real food, don't even tell me in the comments that there are no vitamins because I know that, um, but when you get to the point that you can't eat, you will do whatever you can to try to stay alive. Um, that's kind of the bottom line. See, my cats do love me. That is crazy. Um, but I'm already this morning seeing blood 
in my stool, and I know somebody's going to probably think that's TMI, but if you're going to watch a chronic illness channel, it's just part of the nature of it, I want to say, um, because we all go through stuff that's a little bit over the top and a little bit TMI, um, but that's just how life with chronic illness is, so I'm seeing blood in my stool. I thought that I had a little bit longer. I'm not really sure why. Um, I guess I thought I had longer because I've never come off of Dawn Paradon, so I guess I was kind of thinking like how I reacted with prednisone. But then again, that's not like entirely true because, well, when I would taper on prednisone, I would have trouble eating, but I would be down pretty low. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how I figured out those calculations, but according to them, I was supposed to not be seeing blood for a couple more weeks, um, especially, too, in light of my Remicade's not due till after Easter this year, which I just counted and I'm not really happy about, like, because I'm not going to be able to eat now for Easter, so that kind of stinks. <clears throat> um, I see my new gastro, the second. Uh, I'm not excited. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm really not excited. I don't want to have to see another gastro at all. Okay. Now to let Abigail in. Can you say good morning? Good morning. Come on. Thank you. All right, guys. So I'm going to go take care of the gang and try to get in some food. I'm trying to show the other girls, but this is not easy to record on your phone. We're going to be, I'm going to be getting a camera. We, they say we, as if Abby is helping with us. I don't know. Say hi. That's Sadie. Say good morning world, right? Alright, yeah, so I am going to get Abby some breakfast and I guess, you know, just start our day the best that we can so that's it for now I hope you all enjoyed this video I am going to be talking a lot more I have a feeling about like stomach stuff and all that oh the other thing see I always try to end it and then I have another thought my stomach is growing again um, I'm pretty distended really like uh, swollen so it's really big again my stomach so, I know though if it keeps up that I'm going to have to get scanned, but at the same time, we got this coronavirus going around, so I don't know how in the world I'm getting scanned and staying safe. And the other thing is I have had symptoms, which I have mentioned before, um, and I don't really know if this is 110% flare-up or do I have a virus, do I have the virus. I've said this before, I don't really know what's going on anymore in my body. Um, and that's not very comforting at all, because you kind of like to know. So I am going to be doing a what I eat in a day with gastroparesis and ulcerative colitis video. I thought that would be interesting. I do have other breakfast <laughs> foods. I would like to be able to tolerate something other than fruit snacks for the video, but I guess we'll just see like how long this goes on for. The not eating thing, I'm hoping it'll be real short-lived this time. Last time I did it six months, and that was a miserable six months. So I'm really hoping that it's only a couple of weeks this time. Um, I don't always, when I go through this, tolerate Insure, but I was able to uh, order some Insure, I believe it's in Live, uh, the clear ones. So sometimes I tolerate them, sometimes I don't. But I was like, let's try. I know that, like, when I was in the hospital last year, I was not tolerating them, like, at all in the beginning, but then, like, towards the end, after, I was given Raglan and Carafe, so Raglan helps kind of, like, your stomach move, and Carafe, like, coats your stomach, so between the two, I was able to eat, like, towards the end of my stay, and when I was able to eat the in live was really good. It was really helping my weakness. So like I know the vitamins will be so super great if I'm able to tolerate it. And I went with something clear, not something milky. I really like the milky ones, but you know, do what my body wants. I know it's not gonna want the milk ones. So yeah, I guess that's really it. 
Alright guys, I will see you all soon. Have a lovely day. Bye.